Nearly 7 million Americans live with Alzheimer's, and for some, genetics play a significant role. New research shows a combination of genes poses a greater threat than previously believed. CBN medical reporter Lori Johnson has the details. An estimated 2% of the world's population inherits not one, but two so-called APOE4 genes, one from each parent. Until now, scientists considered this a red flag for developing Alzheimer's, but now see it as more of a certainty. So that indicates that it is not just a risk factor, but a, that it's a strong predictor that these individuals would develop Alzheimer pathology. The research, published in Nature Medicine, reports these recipients make up about one in six Alzheimer's cases. If you have a strong family history, you know, where a number of relatives have die with early onset Alzheimer's disease, yeah, go talk to your doctor. Unfortunately, Alzheimer's patients inheriting the two genes are often denied leading Alzheimer's drug, Lakembi, because they're reportedly more vulnerable to the medicine's side effects of potential brain bleeding and swelling. The good news? Smarter choices have helped certain patients. Some folks who inherited two APOE4 genes and began experiencing symptoms say they reversed course thanks to epigenetics, behaviors designed to suppress problematic genes. As you can imagine, I was terrified. Ten years ago, Julie Gregory couldn't remember the way home or recognize familiar faces. I even contemplated ending my own life, and I think prayer brought me to the point where I realized what I was learning from mainstream medicine just wasn't true. She says her symptoms reversed after a program of eating a ketogenic diet, intermittent fasting, eliminating exposure to toxins like mold and more, developed by Dr. Dale Bredesen. Julie's story is one of seven featured in his book, The First Survivors of Alzheimer's. They gave their their specific protocols because they are personalized. Here's what each person did, how they did it, what their workarounds were, etc. Dr. Bredesen says in addition to a genetic component, his program tests patients for about 40 other Alzheimer's risk factors and addresses each area of concern. And often there are 10 or more, and then we target those with a precision medicine sort of approach. It's just plain old common sense, and my experience shows me that it works. Sally Weinrich also considered suicide five years ago when she experienced Alzheimer's symptoms. I had two relatives die from it, really three relatives die from it, on both sides of my family. The book also features her turnaround. The best thing about my Alzheimer's today is I have answers for it, and I have reversed it. And it is wonderful. I love life. I enjoy life. Over 2,000 people adopted the Bredesen Protocol. A clinical trial shows over 80% experience cognitive improvement. Lori Johnson, CBN News. Some positive information on a debilitating drug. Gordon? That's inc incredibly good news. When you see 84% on, on a trial like that, and all it is is behavior and, and diet, uh, and you can reverse the effects of this horrible disease. If you want more information, it, 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 we've, we've got it for you. All I have to do is go to CBNnews.com, uh, where you can get details on this Bradison, uh, I'll call it a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's tremendous. If you're noticing any cognitive de decline, uh, it's early intervention. Uh, don't put it off. Don't think, well, I didn't sleep well last night or, you know, whatever, you know, trying to shrug it off. Uh, get medical help, but, but sometimes, you know, just looking at behavior. What are you eating? Are you exercising properly? Any environmental toxins? Is there any mold in your environment? All of these things. Uh, we, we want to help you, and so, you know, click that link, go, go to, go to CBNnews.com, and you can find out more information.